Jojo the HVAC man here. I want to talk about here while I'm right outside and I am starting to sweat a little bit. <laughs> uh, I, uh, we're getting a, a little bit more heat here in the Southeast. It's, it's been amazingly cool. It's breezy, um, but we're starting to get in the nineties. So right now in my digital psychrometer, I'm reading about 92 to 93 degrees. Okay. I don't know if you can see that. All right. But right now, the relative humidity is pretty darn good. It is running about 50%. And so that means that currently, the moisture content in the air is not that high. And therefore, the relative humidity is low compared to the temperature in the air. Now, as we start getting more moisture coming in this summer, which we will, because this is called the armpit of the South, cold drink, um, it is going to raise the relative humidity outside, which is going to raise the moisture content. Right now, the dew point is like 70 degrees around here. And so anything that's 70 degrees or colder will condense the moisture around it on the surface. Okay. And that's dew point. And these, these, uh, digital psychrometers, this one, I love this one right here because it has dry bulb, wet bulb and DP, which means dew point. Now, a lot of guys, they'll turn this on and it defaults to relative humidity. And they're, they're I mean, relative humidity does give you a, a general understanding of how much moisture is in the air relative to the temperature and the, the amount of volume of air that you're standing in. And I've done training on this already. But when you get into a crawl space, okay, and you've got that, you know, sweating ductwork, which we deal with a lot around here, and a lot of people think that it's the unit that's causing the duct work to sweat. So let me, let's take, talk about that for a minute. You go into, um, you know, a grocery store and, uh, or, or a restaurant and they got exposed duct work in the, in the restaurant, but it's not insulated. It's, it's metal, but it's not sweating. Now you might find that if you see some duct work, when you walk in the door, they, they've, they've wrapped it. All right. And that's because that was sweating because guess what was coming in? when people were open the door, the humidity outside. And so that was condensing on that ductwork. But if you don't have a lot of moisture in the air, if you're controlling the moisture in the air with the air conditioner, when it comes to an indoor duct system that's not insulated, it's in a conditioned space, right? Okay, now the ductwork in a crawl space or in a hot humid attic is not in a conditioned space. So what happens is that as the air gets uh, hotter, and it collects more humidity from the environment, then the dew point begins to rise. And think about it, duct work right now, if it was out here and we were running 55, 58 degree air through it, well, we've, we're, gonna, we're gonna sweat, right? Because 70 degree dew point. So how would you know what temperature in that crawl space would cause the duct work to sweat? Aha, see? You go in the crawl space and all you have to do is take you a digital psychrometer. And uh, you know, I like this one, it's a pocket one. It fits very well around, I take it all over the place, okay? But you know, you can use other digital psychrometers from other people, um, but you wanna get it where it's reading dew point, DP. You can go in the crawl space and, and don't get in a hurry, okay? Let it sit in there for a good five, 10 minutes, let it settle down um, and it's gonna tell you DP. And if it says DP is 75 degrees, well, daggum, your, your ductwork's gonna sweat, okay? Now, if it even says 60, your ductwork's probably gonna sweat. And the, the wetter the air is, the sooner that ductwork's gonna sweat. Now, there's some ways you can control that. Uh, uh, the easiest, well, <laughs> the most simple and most effective way that I have experienced in the field is total encapsulation. Okay, we lay down the thick plastic under the house, and then we're gonna seal up all the crawl space, all the vents, and we're gonna foam it up. And, uh, and now you've totally enclosed the crawl space. They put a dehumidifier down there, dry the air out, and then we're good, we're golden. Uh, wood dries out, everything dries out, insulation dries out. It, it's, it's, it's a magical thing, it really is done right, okay? Um, now, there's other factors though, maybe you don't have a a lot of moisture in the crawl space, but you're still sweating. Well, if somebody's trying to run that air conditioner down way cold, so 
you know, let's say they're trying to set it at 70 degrees. Well, that unit's going to run longer. Therefore, it's going to stay colder. Well, not colder, but cold longer, okay? Just because it said it's 70 doesn't mean the air's going to get any colder than if they said it's 75. But it does mean it's going to run longer than if they said it's 75. Now, the longer the run time, the longer that air, that heat transfer starts occurring and your insulation starts getting cold. Remember, the insulation is not, you know, 100% insulation. It doesn't stop all heat transfer, you know. The R on the R value means resistance, resistance to heat transfer. The higher the R value, the better. And, you know, right now code for us is R8. It's, you know, I think it's three inches thick, okay? So eventually, a long run time, and somebody just trying to get that house ice cold and the unit hardly ever shuts off, well, that's going to perpetuate a possibility of sweating. Now, remember, we still got to reach dew point. So the moisture in the air is really the key that you got to control. Okay, but this is another factor. Another factor that can do it is if the insulation is not properly sealed. You know, we got gaps, it's old, um, and now we got warm air uh, or even cool wet air or warm wet air, and it gets underneath in between the insulation and the ductwork, the metal. Well, man, uh, that's going to cause it to sweat. And here's the other issue is that once the moisture penetrates through that fiberglass, uh, the R value is gone. It's now just conducting. It, 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 it's terrible, all right? But you could just have it sweating on the outside and not on the inside because that insulation eventually is going to get cold. And the idea is that it wouldn't get cold if you cycled off and on long enough. But if it runs long enough, now the insulation is cold and the surface of the insulation is sweaty, not necessarily the fiberglass. But if you have poorly installed du uh, in, uh, duct wrap or it's just old, it's gappy, and, you know, they use that old uh, duct tape that's just all peeled and crampled off, well, that's going to cause it too. Uh, and then the last thing is duct leakage. So we got cold air that's leaking out of the duct work and now that's traveling down in between the uh, the fiberglass and the metal. And you can see it, sometimes I can see the fiberglass kind of inflated from the cold air. Um, and now we're gonna reach dew point faster and we're gonna sweat as well. So sealed ductwork, good wrapped sealed insulation and control the moisture in the environment and you'll get rid of the sweating. Um, so th that's really it, it's not the unit, okay? Th th I tried to explain to a customer one time, you know, they were comp complaining that the unit was causing their ductwork to sweat. And, uh, and and here's the deal. They say, well, my old unit didn't sweat. My old ductwork didn't sweat. Well, that's because it leaked so bad, it conditioned the daggum crawl space or the attic, okay? Usually it's a crawl space situation. So then we tear out all the ductwork, put in a nice sealed pookied up duct system with mastic and everything, and boom, we're no longer conditioning the crawl space. Great job, but now all that humidity that was being literally uh, conditioned by the old unit is no longer being conditioned. And now all that moisture is there that was always there, but it was being conditioned by the unit itself. So no, don't go poking holes and please don't put grills down in the crawl space because now you're gonna create a negative pressure in the house and now you're gonna create other issues. Just seal up the crawl space, all right, in that case, um, get rid of the moisture infiltration. All right. Well, I hope that helped you. And uh, uh, if you need me, uh, you want me to come out and investigate something with you, I love doing that. Uh, reach out to me at jojo the HVAC man at gmail.com. And I'd uh, be glad to discuss with you to come out and help you troubleshoot problems you, you've got. I've been doing it for 35 years, tech rep for 15 years, a trainer. And, uh, and I love going on job sites and help people figure out problems. Uh, so give me a shout if you need some help. I'd be glad to come see you and, and get you out of a jam because I've been there. I understand. All right. Y'all have a great day wherever you are, anywhere in the world. By the way, if you want to come across the international uh, waters, I do have a passport. Just got to get me there. Okay. Take care. Bye-bye.